Hello everyone, welcome to my video today. Uh, I'll be here with uh, Rosiana. And we're going to discuss about our smoothie course. I'm waiting for her to join. Hello, Rosie. I'm waiting for you. Rosie, I need you to send me a guest request so I could add you. Rosie, could you send me a request to join my live? Thank you, Terence. Uh, Rossi, I'm still waiting for you. Okay. Add you now. Saying adding, connect. Oh, Hi. perfect. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I'm so my first time doing this. My first uh, time is uh, doing this, so welcome and thank you for being game for this. <laughs> thank you, thank you for showing me. So I have to tell like, you and tell uh -huh. everyone we are live right now from my profile, but we are also live on the Facebook page. We have Happy Smoothie. Oh, good. Okay. So that means we have more than 4,000 people who might be able to view it at the same time. That is wonderful. That's awesome. So here is my smoothie today. Cheers. Yeah. I have different color today. Yeah, it's kind of brown. I'll let you go first. Well, I have uh, my, my daughter's favorite smoothies. So mm -hmm. the cheers everybody for summer. It's a chocolate banana with mm. fiber, with all the small thing that you can see. I did explain a little bit later. And I also has um, the fiber, of course, extra fiber and all, you know, the, the small vitamins flax seeds, chia, and hemp seeds, then the little bit of green, you don't see it, but no, it the looks brown. Color darker. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I also have this. Mm. Because now that you always bring flower, and I get this <laughs> pineapple, you always colorful and I don't have. So this one I bought it just yesterday, and I think it's going to cheer up our smoothie hours, really for you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. How so today yours? I have my citrus cap and yeah. I have, of course, the protein shake and I have a banana. I have one plum and I have two apples in it. Mm. And uh, what do I have else? Uh, not raisin this time, not day. Mm, I'm missing one ingredient. Oh, kiwi. <laughs> kiwi, yes. I have kiwi. I should put it. But my daughter said I want just chocolate banana super fast it's like classic this is classic smoothies yours okay. is exotic smoothies <laughs> <laughs> so i have in it i have the um, which one is it uh the protein shake i have uh, the cinnamon one. Oh, that's interesting yeah i it, it is very rare uh to find any uh other flavor in the market like if you go to the, any store uh usually you just find chocolate and vanilla so I, I, I try to be creative out of chocolate and vanilla, but if you have something exotic like cinnamon bun, that's mm. like awesome. Yeah, Very and good. tastes good. Cheers. Really? Yeah. Okay, cheers. Okay, cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. Mm. 
really the best. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> so I wanted to, because I had some question today, it doesn't mean we have to have all the answers. But sure. my idea was, uh, since I have been asked uh, more than twice about the calories, how many calories do you have every time? Because it's supposed to be replacing two meals. And it's kind of a, a little bit difficult for me to answer because I don't know about the calories. I'm really not mm -hmm. into those things. I just eat when I want to eat. And mm. the point is, uh, for some people who are more like crazy about calories, they need to know what they eat, or if there okay. is a way to kind of measure what they eat and what they, um, maybe if they do some sports or stuff like that, they need to know exactly what they ingest. So my, I, my question is, if you have any idea about it, uh, how to do it the best way? Oh, okay. That is a, a very good question. In fact, uh, between you and I, we talk about it a little bit, about mm. calories. Uh, and I am uh, I'm very honest and transparent. I am not an, uh, a smoothies expert. <laughs> I'm just somebody who crazy about smoothies and having yeah. having smoothies almost six years every day without like without stop. It's always mm -hmm. have a smoothies in each day. And I can tell you, it's one of the smartest decision in terms of. Uh, what I eat every day, like to, to give me a peace of mind that I had my, what my body needs. At least once a day, I'm a good girl. The rest, if I eat junk food, so I feel like not so guilty because I had my smoothies, right? So, mm -hmm. but I'm just yeah. somebody who really likes smoothies. I've been taking a lot of smoothies uh, and I make a lot of smoothies. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I'm just going to share with you as that, from that point of view, I'm not a nutritionist going to tell you all calories and how, my, how to count it. I couldn't. And mm -hmm. honestly, to be honest, I really don't have time. And, and in my mind, right, in my simple mind, what does it make uh, a certain number if it is 50 calories more? I have the basic calories. Don't get me wrong. I do need mm -hmm. to know what is the calories in certain food group. But I can't really count calories in this because if you really want to accurate, there's a lot of things. It can be, uh, you know, is it the water, the liquid that you put? Is it water? Is it almond milk? Is it rice milk? Is it oat milk? Or is it just dairy milk? It is a lot of whatever you put because to create a smoothies or to create a protein shake is a two different thing. A lot of people don't really know. I can talk more about it later. Yeah, if you don't uh, but... mind just explaining better because it's um, you have to understand what we are talking about. It's not just about calories. And also I agree yeah. on one thing. Like my smoothie had bananas, which is sugary. Yes. I had kiwis. Had this, Usually I have lychee. I have so many exotic foods and I have no idea w w what that means exactly in calories because it yeah. depends on the quantities and each one has yeah. a different cup. So your yeah. cup is not the same like my cup and it's really hard to be able to just put a number. So it would be nice if you could just give a brief uh, idea what's going on and uh, what's a protein shake and what's the difference with all the different kind you could find on the market too. Great. Thanks, Nadi. That's very good uh, point of view. Again, <laughs> so, me, I'm, I'm so I have to quickly say hi. We have Annette. Hi, Annette. Hi, Derek. And hi, Terence. Hi, Annette. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to see people. So oh, I could tell you. Me, I'm, I'm very new in this live. I only see Nadi, uh, her beautiful face and the, the yellow. But it's all oh, I you see. have to check on your computer at the same time that you are talking. Ah, That's okay. how you could do it. I don't have it. my computer open. <laughs> I just really gonna tell you um, what I really know, mm -hmm. um, what I have been doing over the you know more than five years, and what the impact and like in my physical, in my physical appearance and my mm -hmm. also you know the feeling on your your stomach and also of course overall is how you go through the day and mm -hmm. years of the years you know like it's not about just one day it's really what we put every single day little by little they 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 accumulate on our overall well being and health. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned, like obesity, putting like gaining weight or losing weight, it doesn't happen overnight. It happens oh, oh. so little every single day. And then you feel it, but you can't really point on it, but you feel it. So this is exactly the same thing like, or losing hair, the same thing, right? It's the same like smoothies or things that we eat. Um, one day, oh, I'm just going to eat this. This is a health, uh, healthy food. But you can't eat just one time. You need to be consistent. It has mm -hmm. to be like, an ongoing thing, the lifestyle. But you need to find what is good for you, what is easy, what suits your lifestyle. Like for me, I really don't have time to count calories, but you need to know the base of the calories and what makes a good protein shake or uh, we call it 
uh, smoothies as a meal replacement mm-hmm. or just a protein shake as a shake after workout or as a snack or just because you feel like drinking a shake uh, is something healthy that you're going to do today and then you want to do it every single day. There's no right or wrong. Hi, Iana. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> All right. So uh, if you, if for those of you who really want to know about the calories, what I suggest is to know what you put as a base if you're using protein shake. Mm-hmm. So it's a good protein shake uh, or a good smoothies need to have a base uh, and try to use a protein as a base. Not only fruits. A lot of people do not add any protein in it. And if you go to Jugo Juice or... Uh, there's a, a, a famous smoothie store in in one in Canada. I know it's Jugo Juice. Another one is what? Um, you, you know what I mean. You know those smoothie bar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they will ask you. They will have a lot of menus. They will give you the ingredients: celery, green apples, and all that. They have juice, which is like pressed, and they don't they, they take out the fiber. They also sell those smoothies, which is thick and all the fiber in it. Uh, they they. At the side, you always see, they will ask you, do you want to add extra protein? It's going to mm-hmm. cost you either 50 cents or $1 or $1.50. Depends on uh, what you want. And there is a whey, there's a soy-based, and there's also vegan. I personally, I choose vegan. Okay. After I know about whey and soy, I just I want to stay away from that. Even though they said whey is amazing, it's good. But knowing how it produced, how it come into fruitation and in market and how people use it and the result, which is great. Nothing's wrong with it. But I personally choose to have vegan because my goal is not to have bulk and muscle like I'm going to go for a bodybuilding competition. For me, I just stand from the health point of view. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not an athlete. I don't exercise uh, like as regular as I wanted. I, I, I'm very active. Uh, I have two kids and they make me really active, but I do a little bit of exercise every, uh, at least three to three, three times a week. It can be just 15 to half an hour. Uh, and I really happy with my weight and my health. And that is because of what I put, what I eat every single day. It is actually 80% of what we eat is that is make our uh, made up for our health. It is not how much you exercise. Exercise is actually ten percent. This is mm-hmm. statistic. You can Google it. Ten percent is genetic. So you can you kind of born with it. Your body, you know, your height, your bone structures, your you know your mm-hmm. your race. I'm gonna say it's not being racist, but it's mm-hmm. your race. You can you right like yeah. Asian, you know, but it, like like that. So that is ten percent, and ten percent is your activity and exercise and workout, and that eighty percent is what we eat. When I know about that, I like okay, let me take a look at nutrition, change the way I cook, and what can I do that is so simple that I can do every single day. They're gonna help me in the big way in the long term, and I found it. The answer is really to have a a meal replacement at least once a day. Uh, we call it smoothies. That's why we created this because <laughs> both of us, Nadia and I, right, Nadia, you feel so good. And, and it's really amazing. I cannot believe the feeling and, and the result day after day. If you haven't tried any smoothies, I strongly suggest you try. You can buy it in the store. You can invest actually to buy your own protein. And now we're going to talk about what makes a meal replacement, uh, a smoothie is good as a meal replacement. So then you're also going to know. And how do you feel about the meal replacement? Because some people would feel like drinking is not enough as a food. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought too. It's not enough because I'm going to be hungry. (laughs) It is not true. This is why. What makes a good meal replacement? Then we can call it smoothies, not only shake. Because shake, I can tell you shake is mainly water and Mm -hmm protein shake that has been mixed with all the multivitamin, mineral fiber, and protein. Usually, the range is between 15 to 25 to 30 grams of protein per serving. Okay. So if you have that, and if you, so it's about 15, very rare, usually it's like 20 and up, So, but there are some serving of protein, like one, one scoop is 15, some brand, 15 to 35 protein per shake, uh, per serving. So you can just, you know, use the shaker, Oh, I have it, but it's in the kitchen. So <laughs> pretend this is shaker, okay, my pineapple? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just shake, shake, shake. Mainly you mix it with water. So it's okay. really easy to go. 
open, put it even in a car, and you shake it and you drink it. But and what's the difference if somebody is just using the protein shake with water and using it with a food like a smoothie? So now we're going to talk about the smoothies. So as a smoothie is, if you take the protein shake mm -hmm. as the base, and you need to add carbohydrate, mm -hmm. like you, have, you, have, you need to add fiber, multivitamins, and minerals, and fats. So that make a complete meal replacement. Mm -hmm. So that you can replace your lunch or dinner or breakfast. So oh, I say hi to whoever oh. is there. I can't see your names anymore. So I know five, four people are watching, but I okay. don't know who is there. Just hi. <laughs> so hi, thank you so much for being live. So I'm going to make uh, your time worth, um, worth it by staying with me and Nadi. Um, <laughs> so if you haven't tried and you want to try, I would suggest always put fruits, whole fruits in your smoothies and use blender. So you need to use a blender because mm -hmm. if you put frozen strawberry or frozen fruits, you can't use just a shake. So this is really a meal. We're talking about the meal replacement that gives you a complete mm -hmm. everything as a meal. And then the calories will add up more, but you don't have to worry about that, okay? Um, <laughs> because when you know what you put, you do not need to count calories because it doesn't make any sense. It's like, oh, too much calories. Yes. You know what um, I tell myself is when it's really too sweet, I know mm -hmm. it's a lot of calories. Okay. So I will adjust a little bit on what I put in the inside. Like the banana, which is really mm -hmm. ripe, is very sweet. So I use half. When the banana is a bit green, I can use all. It gives me more carbohydrate, but very less sugar. So mm -hmm. I put half on my chocolate protein shake. So first, you need to put a base. The base will be any fruits you choose. If you want to go for the lowest glycemic index fruits, the easiest to go is any kind of berries, anything and with berries, strawberries, blueberries, mm -hmm. red, uh, raspberries, blackberries. So any kind of berries. And has blackberries, my favorite. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you know, everything with berries has the lowest glycemic, in, glycemic index. And also green apple, Granny Smith's green apple. Choose organic if you can. Mm -hmm. Green apple, half of the green apple is an excellent base for any meal replacement at the lowest calories ever. I'm talking about the low calories, okay? Mm -hmm. First is fruits. That's the base. Second, you need to put your protein. So protein for the shake, that is the easiest and convenience is really to put a protein powder. It, you, you can go to any grocery store, they, you can buy it there. It becomes something common. It becomes a staple. So people can just buy. So buy the protein shake, but I will suggest to go for vegan. Uh, it can be pea, brown rice, cranberry base. That is the best. And I know, um, I really love R1 protein shake. Uh, they even have just protein, just 20 gram of pro 10 gram of protein per scoop. You can just put one, there's no flavor, nothing, no sugar, which is excellent. So you need to put your protein. May, uh, aim for at least 20 grams per serving. So fruits and protein of 20 gram. If mm -hmm. you want to put less or more, it doesn't matter, but moderate what 20 is good. And then after that, you're going to put your fiber, right? Your fiber, you can, you can also use any fiber you can find in the store. Again, aim for vegan, which is really easy to digest. And mm -hmm. you can also, if you want to put your own fiber, you can always add like what I did. I add fiber plus I add flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds. You can put sunflower seeds. You can put any kind of nuts. That will add up also to the next ingredients that I suggest that you need to put in to make a, a great smoothies is mm -hmm. to put fats and fat, uh, fats also. Healthy fats, not animal fats. So <laughs> how to put any, uh, like healthy fats in smoothies? Because when we, when we say the word fat, it's always thinking about the fats from animal, the, you know, the oil from yeah. barbecue chicken. It is not true. There's so many healthy fats available. Avocado, any kind of nuts, walnuts, olive oil. Um, how many nuts? Like sesame seeds, even they have like... It's really good. It is thick. So there's so many healthy fats available that we can put in our smoothies too. So my favorite is really all the seeds and extra fiber that I bought um, mm -hmm. from from any store you want or from online, but I, I really love the one that I use from Arbonne because it doesn't thicken, it doesn't give you any flavor, it doesn't yeah. change the consistency, but it's so excellent. One day if I don't take it, I feel different. Uh, so fiber, fat, base, protein, right? And then the liquid. 
the liquid is so so important different liquid will give you different calories of course so you know zero calories is going to be water if you want to add a little bit more calories because some people use this to gain weight Nadi. there are people who want to gain weight and gain muscle but they do not want to gain fat so they're going to put more calories not fat uh, but we need healthy fat no matter what we need healthy fat so they will put uh you can put uh, almond milk oat milk rice milk uh, flax milk so there's a lot of alternative if you want to make it uh, dairy free so it's gonna be everybody can uh, drink this protein shake because some people with celiac disease and Crohn's disease or intolerance to lactose they couldn't take anything with dairy mm. so you, for me I'll use water the taste is the same the consistency is the same and I know I have less calories so now we're talking about calories right so that's what <laughs> I do uh, and you can use topping so what's topping? Topping is like as is fancy. Like if you go to ice cream, would you like have a topping? It will be fifty dollar, uh, fifty cents more. So you put like you know the sprinkled chocolate and the colorful candy. But there's all color. Like I, I try to avoid it for my children. But for smoothies, you can add topping too. So the topping is less fancy, but you can put. Um, I put fresh spinach sometimes, fresh arugula, mm -hmm. just a little bit. And that's my topping. I put it, but I blend it <laughs> together. And sometimes, if you want, you can put raw cocoa on the top just to make it beautiful and you can form um, I should do that for milk. my pictures yeah okay this is idea for you you know yeah. coconut milk you can do the froder the froder yeah to make the from and then mm -hmm. you put it on top it oh. is so beautiful and okay beautiful. great idea <laughs> I'll do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, that that is what make a, a complete meal replacement if and if you do that I guarantee you you will not feel hungry because shake will maybe make you feel hungry, but if you do that and you drink it slowly, okay, so that's the key. A lot of people just gub it up, like I finish it in two minutes or five minutes. We're supposed to enjoy it, what do you say, 30 minutes or 20 to 30 minutes? Yeah. So you really feel full, like we've been doing it for how many days now? Yeah, and this is our that. fifth live. <laughs> yeah. And this is our first time from my profile, it's the first time we try this one. And uh, that's why uh, Kiona is asking, what's the topic? She said, hello. Uh, what is the what's subject the about? The subject is about um, what is the difference between uh, smoothies and just what normal shake. shake. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we'll also tap on the subject a bit of how much calories is what is you know it's what is calories and how much. Um, and I mentioned I can't really tell you is it a hundred thousand calories or two hundred fifty calories, but I know it's going to be more than three hundred calories for this one, which is really at, at the very low. Um, but as you know, we are aiming for us as an adult, as you're a mm -hmm. woman, we're aiming of 1,250 calories a day if you are uh, like active but not doing any uh, heavy sports. So you are good with 1,250 calories, so it's over 1,300 depends on your height and your BMI. Uh, but to me, I'm just going to take one shake a day and I have some snack during the day and then I have a healthy dinner. So if I'm really hungry, I will make um, like a protein-based snack. That make a big difference. And and you see, like I'm not hungry. Uh, and for those who kind of like reduce the amount and the quantity of the food that you eat every single day, if you do it like slowly, slowly, you will be surprised that you're slowly, you're like maybe like trimming a little bit, like losing a little bit of weight if you have some extra weight to lose just by having a very regular um, um, like eating habits every day and replace mm -hmm. one meal with the protein shake. You can have two meals, you can have lunch, you can have dinner, but if you replace one meal with the protein shake, you will really see the difference. Give yourself at least a week. And uh, after six years, because you, I don't know, six or seven years now. Uh, five uh, and a half years, yeah. Okay. Uh, so how do you feel like from the beginning, before you started the smoothies and now? Um, when I started the smoothies, or uh, before I started the smoothies, I don't really pay attention to what I eat, honestly. I don't pay attention to what I eat. So I eat uh, what's available and convenience and what I like. Mm -hmm. And after I take the protein shake, I am more in control. I have more uh, awareness about what I eat. Mm -hmm. And I like it because I, you know, when I eat too much, I know that tomorrow 
when I have my protein shake, I feel better. And if I just uh, go back to uh, like my regular eating habit, mm -hmm. I know I'm not going to go overboard or like lose my control and just like, you know, I eat whatever. I don't want to think about getting healthy or being healthy at all. It helps me to, to manage my day. So if you have to kind of talk to yourself like uh, six years ago before you joined and started uh, this healthy living uh, lifestyle, uh, what would you tell yourself? Like one of member of this audience would be like, I'm not really sure if I want to make the move. So if it was like you going back to the past and telling yourself you should join, what would you tell yourself? I would tell myself like really uh, don't overthink it. It is really a decision of whether you want to drink something or not. It is not a decision mm -hmm. of, you know, uh, setting up yourself with a new mortgage of a house. Uh, mm -hmm. It is really a, a small little change that it doesn't make any difference. Uh, or if, yeah, I would say I will not think so much about it. I wish I know it sooner. I, I, I wish sorry. that I know it sooner that having smoothies is really excellent the way to nourish your body. Awesome. And uh, I have another question from the audience. It's about the value. How much mm -hmm. does it cost to have the two meal replacement? Like if you compare it to a coffee shop. Uh, for two meals a day or what? Like... Yeah, two meals a day, like the healthy living style, if you had the uh, two okay. meals replacement. Um, so I have, um, I invest in my, like my favorite products. I mm -hmm. invest in my favorite nutrition product, uh, uh, to be honest. And I also invest in fruits, uh, and all these small, you know, the toppings that I put. So I choose mainly organic food, uh, fruits, either uh, frozen or fresh if it's in season. So I uh, invest in those two. Honestly, in terms of just the product that I use every single day from the protein base, the fiber, the multivitamins, uh, and also I put the green, like, like something, you know, the superfood greens, it's all concentrated greens. Mm -hmm. uh, it only cost me like $5.20 per shake. And plus all the fruits is probably going to add up another $1.50 maximum. So per meal, it's going to cost me around uh, $6.50 $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, $6, to $7. Canadian dollar, which is less than yeah, $5 honestly, if it was in the U.S. Yeah, it's about $5. Like five, so $5, it's about a Starbucks. Oh, it's actually less than Starbucks because if I go to Starbucks, <laughs> I'm going to go for, you know, the, the, the blended vanilla tall grandy. I don't remember the name, but it's the one with the, with the, whipped with cream. the on top. With, mm -hmm. Yes, the whipped cream and the topping. I want to go for the real Starbucks that I know long, like years, years ago. So mm -hmm. I will go for that. That's going to cost me like at least 8 to $9, right? I mean, wait, yeah. So it's you know, double eight, 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 living five. a healthy life. Yeah, and, and none of them has whatever we just talked about. It's not just <laughs> calories and sometimes empty calories, meaning they don't have fiber. You just have to, it just gives you a lot of calories and sugar high, and then you really have to put it off. If not, it's just going to accumulate it. You know, extra sugar, usually it exists in all your blood, right? And then mm -hmm. that is why when you have something sweet all the time, there's, uh, there's an empty calories. It's so easy for us to go to pre-diabetic or high blood sugar and all this kind of lifestyle disease. It's all started with that. One day is fine, but if you do Starbucks every single day for six years, per number one, you're gonna feel it in your budget. Number two, you're gonna feel it in your blood sugar and your waistline and your heartbeat. So maybe uh, once a week if you want, but if not, completely. I'm not saying Starbucks is not. I love it, but you know, sometimes I go vacation, I still take it, but not every single day. Everything in moderate, moderate. Okay, I agree with you. Cheers yeah. to that. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Mm. So good. Will it taste good? Yeah. So uh, we talk about the value and also the bag. Uh, I forget to ask if you don't have it one nearby, we could have it tomorrow. So I wanted to show the size of the bag because people would not be able to see. Um, if you don't have it right now, we could have I it have tomorrow. I have it, but it's in my in my it's in, my in the kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. So we could okay. have it for tomorrow for the next talk. And I wanted tomorrow okay. if you could talk about this one. Since you are using it and I'm using it too, we could have a conversation about this. Yeah. 
Oh, so we could have a conversation it. about this. So you could talk about right. you, how long you are using it and how happy you are. And the same for me and also show how you could drink it. And I was wondering, is it possible to have this in a smoothie or is it better to have it just with water? Oh, good idea. I believe you can put it in the smoothies. Because uh, I haven't checked. I wanted to ask you first, because if it's something you could add to the smoothie it would be great. Yes. And I saw you, I you are mixing yeah. the green smoothie with different... Uh, the green and a digestion plus, if I remember. So I don't know if this one, we could add it to a smoothie or if it has to be like a different one. So we could discuss mm -hmm. those ones for tomorrow sure. because we've been, uh, I think about an hour now. Really? And uh, yeah, no, uh, half an hour, sorry. <laughs> I said about okay. an hour. So well, this is now. the time for us half an hour, yes. Yeah, so since we are just two, and also I wanted to say that Alexandra is not here today. Uh, because she's always here from the, yeah. this is the fifth uh, recording we had. And the four past she was here and uh, Alexandra had a loss in her family. Uh, so that's why she was not able to spend time with us today. And we sent her our sincere condolences. Yeah. If you want to add something, maybe. Uh, no, yes, yes, it's about Alexander. So she, she wanted to be here, but she's unable. She's in the morning, so I, yeah, we give her space, but she sent her love. Yeah. And, and yeah, but she, 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 will, she will join us very soon. Okay. So thank you for today, Hosanna, and we get ready thank for you, our skin care for tomorrow and talk about the gum yes. and, and also how we could mix it in a smoothie and maybe come mm -hmm. up with some ideas. And I'm going to check what, what about the whip, uh, coconut whip cream you mentioned for the picture, <laughs> make it a uh, foam on top would be nice. <laughs> so it's going to be my next project uh, for oh, the, cool. <laughs> the smoothie. <laughs> it makes it more beautiful. And yeah, and then we had Akim that joined us. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Peter. And I can't see all the pictures, all the, the names, because it's uh, on two platforms. So we had one on my profile where we are right now. And we have also uh, in the page. So, Oceana, you could join. I just sent hi back to a few of them. So you could join on the page and uh, comment back to them. And I'll see you tomorrow uh, at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Great. Yes, excited. We're yeah. going to make our smoothies, like one-stop smoothies, like everything that you need for beauty, for this, for mat, for mine, for... But I don't know if we could mix it with the Digestion go. Plus, too. <laughs> yes, 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 definitely, definitely. I wonder what, what this is going to be like. Yeah, that's something we could do. So we... It's a challenge, we, challenge. <laughs> yeah, a kind of a smoothie challenge. <laughs> Imagine how much time we save knowing that we can have everything in one go. And yeah, knowing that you're taking care inside and out, like it's excellent. Yeah, and so. it's just one half an hour. You don't have to drink this and drink that, and yeah. and the cleanse also. Maybe you could add the cleanse to all of it, but the cleanse is one later, so it's a different story. But Nadi, you're very good at of this idea. I never thought of all that. Like I'm just doing <laughs> the rules mostly, but yeah, well, we'll look into that. We'll Thank figure it so out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We'll see. Thank uh, you so Thank much, you for Nadia. watching Thanks, and cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Still have half to go. Cheers. Bye. See you tomorrow, 12. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs>